Yeah, feeling a bit better this week. Uh, thankfully, no so no sore throat anymore. Just minor minor uh, nose clogginess. More, uh, it's more annoying than than uh, anything else. Anyway, yeah, another week, another show. Uh, yeah, it's been a uh, been quite a week. I actually got a few game streams in this week. Actually, I finished up Pokemon Green today. Yeah, it turns out the last stream was only about a half hour long because, uh, yeah, I kind of steamrolled through the Elite Four. Yeah, it turns out Electabuzz was the MVP. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so hopefully I can get started on Yellow soon, finish up Scarlet. And then, I don't know. Uh, but yeah. The week, uh... Like I said, it's still been kind of dealing with, like, the after effects of being sick. Um... Also, they didn't have work on Thursday. Like, I think there was supposed to be a table of four, but they, uh... Combined it with the Friday group of, like, six. Then, like, some others joined for, like, a total of 15 for Friday, so... Yeah, it was still pretty easy. Yeah, um... Yeah, honestly, not much to report, really. Uh, okay, it's the 13th now, so... Uh, let me check the calendar. So, hopefully, not next week, but the week, the week after, I should have my Super Nintendo flashcards. Yeah, um, yeah, I got nothing. <sighs> so, how was your week? See, there was the some hay action before we started that. Uh, side B. Throughout the which the sheep for less time was finished. Just. Yeah, I think afterwards I left the system. T I, I think afterwards I left. My time for my dad to upgrade, so. Uh, we get some important paperwork finished. Uh, so let's just slide over to the. Uh, program that we used. Uh, okay. 
Got up in there by one point, but thankfully that was sorted. should take care of, hopefully will be taken care of, hopefully it should be, is being taken care of from uh, months ago. Which we on Friday. I I'm saying I have no idea though if I can get a hundred percent of completion by the time my next uh Point of interest comes about. Uh, that went a bit later than usual, a bit more later than I wanted, but hopefully. Uh, let's look at something out of it. This week she finished and then I think I'll have the uh, report to the answer next time he brings it up. Okay. Uh, Got some new things as well as a uh, placement of certs on the way. Uh, also, put this, uh, someone as some of you to. Submitted a panel towards ever free, not which 
Is it every? No, I'm not sure exactly what could happen for your nuts, but like I said, don't be inclined to bring all of your stuff. Yeah. For that, it's not quite sure about the other. Uh, there's one more during that. During one of those exchanges, it also got a bit nervy, but I think that that's been sorted out. But, uh, yeah. Gonna have to wait and see what happens in those cases. Uh, thanks for that working in the system, and thankfully it's actually worked out. So I can finally, oh. so I can finally switch back to the uh, stream software I've been stream software I've been using for the most part. Though I will be keeping the backup around just in case uh, problems arise again. It's like a plan. Okay, yeah, sounds good. Yeah. So, still no ponies. Like, I'm wondering if they're gonna be going f more for like the uh, regular episode sized specials or what? I don't know. Cause like I, I remember seeing that there was supposed to be like several of those. So maybe their attention is going towards that at the moment. Yeah. But yeah, admittedly the uh the weird schedule does kind of take away from the enjoyment of the series just cuz like it helps when it's more consistent, you know? Mm. Yeah, but for now, we're continuing on with the mo with uh, Bionicle Month, with Bionicle Two, Legends of Metro Nui, and uh, despite being the second movie, I believe it's more. It, I yeah, it is a prequel. Because long story short, it, ex it explains how they got to, uh, how they came to be on Mata Nui.
So yeah, the brief summary. Tor, Tor being captured. Guy in charge, not actually the guy in charge, but uh, yeah, I remember evil guy from last go around him. And uh, yeah, the new Toa, it's like, at first it's like, oh yeah, we need to find these special discs. Surely that'll prove for heroes. It's like, oh, so we're going to see them going on the, oh, uh, never mind. They're, 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 they're doing a montage. They're, they're just skipping over that journey. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, it's like, yeah, guy in charge, actually evil guy, so now they have to figure out what's going on, how to unlock their powers, and how to save everyone. And, uh, given how the, uh, what we know of, like, Oh yeah, they had to flee Metro Nui to, and go to Mata Nui, and like, I believe at the end of the last one, it's like, oh hey, yeah, this is the way back to Metro Nui, I, I guess, and it's like, so we kind of knew going in that, yeah, I wasn't going to exactly have a happy ending, but ooh, wow, this movie was kind of dark. I mean... Relatively speaking, it is a it is a Lego based movie though, but yeah, not not much for the happy endings with this one. But yeah, like the, the mask powers this go around. You got uh, psychic powers, stealth, uh, lamp, shape shifting. Uh, and the other two were kind of eh I, I think one was more of a, was I want to say mental manipulation or maybe that was the psychic when I was doing that it, Point is, the, the last two, it was kind of vague what the powers actually were. It wasn't like as upfront. And at one point, one of them was like basically forcing the other guy to just like back down. And then another, then the other masked guy, it's like just blasted the wall and moved bricks over, and I don't know. Also, apparently there's a Mask of Time now, which, uh, okay, by the end, it, it's been lost again, but, uh, yeah, that, may, that makes two special masks. Uh, of course, like, okay, Mask of Time, it, it was barely a mask, it was like, a, a, a face covering during during the COVID years, like just like covers the mouth, a bit of the nose, and that's about it. But yeah, it's like, and what does it? What does this mask do? It, I, I guess, slowed down time a bit. I mean, honestly speaking. They didn't really seem to be doing all that much. I mean, maybe it was incomplete. Hence the, hence the general look. Yeah, that's... Because it did, like... Yeah? If that was basically what I was thinking. Yeah, because it did, like, the general flare and actual maskiness of the typical bionicle mask. And just generally lacking the upper half of it. But yeah, and 
we we also learned that apparently you you can sacrifice your Toa powers for various purposes, like making new Toa or awakening people from whatever the stasis pod things were supposed to be. It, it was kind of vague on that one as well. Like, the grand plan for the bad guy was like, Okay, force all the people into these pods. Ascend to great power. Something, something, get mask of time, maybe? Put a question mark on that one, move on. And, uh, yeah. Yeah. But yeah, it was an it was an interesting movie. But I see so you got the six Toa, but like the party is split near the beginning of the uh, film. Like half of them were captured, the other half like, okay. First, well, first we had got to figure out our mass powers. Second off, we need to f rescue that Toa that was captured. Uh, oh, oh yeah, the the main guy gets visions every now and then. It, eh, it's a thing. Uh, yeah. Don't really, what to say about this movie? It's like it, it's not bad, but. Eh. Oh yeah, we, the, uh, the hunter guys are back again, well, here for the first time. There's only, like, three of them, or, no, wait, there's two of, three, okay, I think there's three of them, but then I believe, uh, evil dude absorbed the flying bits off of the, one of them. Or maybe he had fly flying bits before. I don't know. But yeah, it's like... Yeah, when he's powered up, he has like... Dark grabby... Dark energy grabby hand powers emitting from his chest. Which apparently he can't actually turn off mid-use. So, yeah, that's a thing. Like... Yeah, grab that thing. Oh, no, not the thing. Now the thing smash. Uh, yeah, a bit of a flaw in that one. Yeah. The characters were all right. Like, of course, you got some infighting and people being weird about, oh, you know, the red guy having visions. Because, you know, decent chunk of the time, that's a sign of insanity. But you know, ju you just have to go with it. But yeah, it's like, I, I, when I first saw the leader guy. I, I, that was actually the evil guy. It's like, yeah, something's not quite. Nothing. Something's not quite right with that guy. I don't trust him. And my suspicions were proven correct. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, he kind of get, he kind of gave away the game early on. It's like. Oh, some new Toa. But are they actually really Toa? Or perhaps they they're er, evil and got rid of that Toa that went missing that like oh no, he went missing. It's so sad. Anyway, <laughs> and just like turns the entire crowd against them. 
Oh, also the green one has like glidey wings that he uses like once, and then I th after that I think he got they were mostly on land and not in the air, and he got his shape shifty powers. Yeah, it's uh. So admittedly, if you uh, weren't able to catch, weren't able to catch on right of catch on right away, it is sort of a rite of it is sort of a rite of passage kind of thing to see who is worthy. Yeah, and that was another thing like. You, the character is trying to like figure out what their mask power is. It's like you, they can't just tell you what your power is. That like, you have to figure it out for yourself. <laughs> usually, in times of great need or stress, that's usually when it comes out. Though admittedly, I did not call. I did not call stealth being like the main thing for like the main guy. Of, of course, that came out. That happened during like the climax of the film. But yeah, it's like. Yeah, technically speaking, the villain won this time around. Like, he, he he captured most of the people. The heroes are effectively exiled. I mean, yeah, bad guy gets sealed away, but... They, they've lost their home. Wait, hold on. So they sealed the bad guy away. Uh, I'm guessing there's some sort of perpetual evil dark energy thing going on still back at their home despite that. Otherwise, since they sealed the guy away, couldn't they have just gone back home? Interesting note of that. Turns out there will be two parts to this prequel. I suppose we'll possibly find out answers to that one next time around. But yeah, it's just like yeah, just something something I just thought of. Although to be fair, it does look like their vehicle was wrecked and they had like the people they were able to rescue, so maybe it was just the best uh, best of a worst scenario thing going on. It's like, well, vehicle's wrecked, can easily get back. We have all these people, may as well continue on with the with the escape route. Because who knows how far they traveled. Thankfully, that disc quest wasn't completely wasted. I do believe in the comics, they... Put a bit more emphasis to that. Okay.
Although in truth, for the most part, the comics seem to be more like uh, side stories as well. Side stories with the main plot basically being safe for this film. Sounds about right. Oh yeah, so oh, the uh, bad guy that was disguised as the leader guy, they actually find the leader guy um, where the people were, well, somewhere, I... <clears throat> anyway, they, they find the guy that was replaced, it's like, yeah, well, he'll be safe there until we can come back, and then they don't come back, and it's like, well, I wonder if that guy will be showing up again. <laughs> Maybe, maybe not. We'll see. Yeah, just, just another thing I just thought of. <laughs> okay. Whatever the case, you could probably imagine it'd be one of those uh, canisters they eventually... canisters they managed to... Uh, <laughs> Excavate from location to location. Yeah. Ooh, although missed opportunity to have the uh, those stasis pod things or whatever look like the containers that you buy the bionicle kits in. Like, come on, guys, you had a chance. Uh, like, you had the perfect opportunity. It's like, have it tie into the toy line. <laughs> kind of, kind of have to imagine they were in part. As if I remember a uh, video I saw earlier this week, I th think there was a, I think there was a time. I just need to have a close, have a close eye to make sure. Have a close eye to make sure what parts of it got used. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. Overall, not a bad movie. And being a prequel, you don't really need to have seen the first film to really understand to understand what's going on here. So it's decent as a standalone film or as a continuation, sort of, of the uh, first film. I, I do think this is hope more I've heard, even. If he's the uh, other two things, the uh, similar four methods to the uh, Tomatora and Taraga thing are also also play to the also play to uh, Kuta. Uh. Although in his case, although in his case, he has a slightly different approach in terms of size, so growth, and ability gains. Yeah.
<sighs> yeah. Like I said, no major complaints about the film. Pretty solid. Yeah, check it out, it's on YouTube. Via the uh, Bionicle Animations Archive. I can't remember the name of it right now, but there's also there's a similar site that has saved a lot of the, saved a lot of the material with the uh, saved a lot of the material small bit so saved a lot of the material so that's lore in, here. lore in the entire story can be discovered lore in the entire story can be uh, witnessed. Yeah. And yeah, there's that, that slight bit of, oh, they're uploading a movie to YouTube, how long would that last? But I kind of feel like with, like, Lego, they're, they're more hands-off on that sort of thing, considering, like, I mean, yeah, it's a movie of their, of their uh, IP, but it's basically supplementary material for the purpose of selling their toys. So, like, the more people that see it, the more people are, would be possibly willing to, uh, buy into it and the fact that it's like two decades old at this point so it's like yeah <sighs> sort of falls to the category of Property, properties that uh, didn't have a uh, total grasp. Yeah. Should look at a possibly similar thing, although it's like. Okay, is this like an official thing? Uh, uh, right, 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 yeah. Okay, I think it might be official, but yeah, similar thing with uh, uploading movies and episodes and stuff to, I guess, promote your your IP and toy sets. The, the uh, Gundam Info YouTube page where they've been uploading various Gundam episodes. That's like, oh, that's anime. But uh, here's the thing. The model kits. The model kits make huge money. So, so it's in their interest to uh, get more, more people interested in the franchise to sell more model kits. Oh wow, they have they have the Witch from Mercury series. Cool. Hmm. I did, I heard good things about that series. But yeah, it's like, yeah, just another thing of that kind of thing that I just thought of. It's like, yeah, they do a similar thing. But yeah. Anyway... <clears throat> okay... Wait, I'm on the right tab. Uh, Even though it will... Uh... Quick, 
Couldn't make proper connections. Once again, they get to do with the, uh... These days, no. These days, familiar, uh... Castings. Uh... Be continuing that voice that still gives me that feeling in the kitchen, still give me that bit of that chill. Uh, Trevor Paul, Brian Michael, Tabitha, Christopher Gaines. I think a lot more ship rolls this time around if we, uh, if you, uh, compare it to the first film. Yeah. Doesn't feel like too much has changed from a visual standpoint. Uh, that we did manage to. Uh, whatever you designed to do, yeah, but did they manage to make a good compromise for them? Yeah. Oh yeah, so one other thing of note is that, like, okay, so, so the people, like, they start off as, like, the little tiny guys, the, and then when they get to a power, they become big and tall and adult, slash teen, whatever, they become tall. But when they lose their power or give it up or whatever, they, they become the, uh, they become elder-shaped. They're like, okay, that's that's interesting. We're learning more. <clears throat> they certainly knew what they were doing in terms of their uh how they were characterizing the figureheads. Yeah. You can immediately tell who was wiser. You can immediately tell the uh, wise ones. You can immediately tell the uh, middle-aged people that naturally uh, younger is look up to. You get it, yeah. I still remember all the hints, considering that I uh, only saw this once before, only saw the prequel once before. Hmm. Most of my memories were with the uh, first movie, surprisingly. But 
yeah, still glad that I can still run more of this. And it feels just about right for the uh, targeted demographic they were marketing for. Yeah. It's more of a middle of the road sort of ending in a way, in which uh, yes, there's so much ahead, but at least that's a uh, but there's a, a bit of a victory within it. Yeah. Should mention that given everything this franchise said going for uh, action, warriors, action warriors and uh, large lore of a uh, specific goal that everyone's basically trying to go, basically trying to go towards. A lot of adventures have a tendency to get dark. Yep. I'd say there was enough in the first one that's actually uh, hinted at the basic tones and goals that we're going for. Mm -hmm. Get vague at times. Still kept, still kept a uh, strong interest of sorts. Because yeah. like it wasn't boring or anything. It's just like some bits could be a, could be a bit more clear. Stories came, new locations, new characters, new tasks. They kept the they kept the interest up. Yeah. Yeah, and like unlike last time, it, it isn't some sort of grand quest. It's more of a. Oh crap, uh, half of us have been captured. We have no idea how our powers were, or if we still had to rescue that guy. And oh god, the leader has turned against us. What do we do? So they, they don't really so much have a, have a real plan, it's more of a vague idea of where to go. It's like, uh, 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 okay. Step one, unlock powers. Step two, rescue the, that one dude. Rescue step three, rescue the others. Step four, uh, right? There was all thing about a, a mask of time or something. We'll see about that. Step five, 
Oh God, what are we doing? <laughs> yeah. Whereas with last time, it's like, okay, we have the mask. We need to keep the mask away from the bad guys. We need to find the guy the mask is for. And bingo, bingo, that solves everything. <laughs> In a way, it's kind of like Last Airbender cartoon before the Last Airbender cartoon, and even then, Lego Act, and even so, Lego still got the license for that. Yep. There's a large story and an end goal, but. The middle bit's kind of like, yeah, we'll work it out as we go. <laughs> it's the uh, traditional one step at a time. Yeah. And eventually we'll get the... Uh, Full resolution as well as uh, solved mysteries. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like I said, though they uh, spread things out within different me spread things out within different mediums, and uh, by the end of uh, the next one, I'm going to need to uh, I get the feeling I'm going to need to uh, fill in a few gaps. But we'll get there when we get there. Yeah. Uh. Yeah, that was a good talk. Um, yeah, I managed to get over the events of the story without doing like a straight up point by point by point recap. So it's like. Hey, I'll call that a win in my book. <laughs> right. Oh, getting into some news for this week. Can I say this week that I, I... part of it feels like we just did the show like the other day, <laughs> but I, that, that's how fast it seems this week went by. Anyway, <coughs> then again, at least one of us is still trying to. Uh... Right. Yeah. Weeks hit differently whenever something like that happens. Yeah. 
Splatoon North America Spring Fest springs uh, into action on April 19th at 5 p.m. Pacific time through April 21st at, uh, again, 5. The theme asks, which fuzzy fluffiness do you like most? Baby chicks, little bunnies, or bear cubs? Ooh, that's a tough one. <clears throat> I think I have to go with the bunnies. Though it should be noted that the first two are the uh, most marketed. It's fair. I... People are typing. Oh, go ahead. Honestly, I can't remember the last time I saw anything uh, Easter related that had bears in it. Bears in it. Berenstein bears aside. Yeah. Super Art Type and two Japanese exclusive SNES games are joining Nintendo Switch Online. Uh, what what two Japanese exclusive games? Like, uh, no, nothing. Okay. Wait, nope. There's a link here. Uh, Wrecking Crew ninety eight and Amazing Hebereki. I have never heard. Well, apparently Wrecking Crew 98 looks to involve Mario. Oh, the J the Japan only sequel to the NES classic Wrecking Crew. Okay. Never heard of it. Bandai Namco has quietly released three small 3D platformers for free on Steam. Let's see, uh, let me see the link here. Da, 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 da. Okay, not a lot. Duronko, Wonko, and Boomer Road. Okay. Once again, never heard of them. Which is probably why they're being released for free. Funimation is officially no more. It has been shut down, fully merged with Crunchyroll. God. Cr Crunchyroll's just been eating up all of the anime lately. <clears throat> Oshinoko anime gets revival screenings and early screenings of the second season premiere. I was reincarnated as the seventh Prince anime reveals its English dub cast in an April 15th premiere. Okay, let me see anyone I recognize. Uh, no. No, I do not recognize any of them. Okay. Are they Japanese names? No, this is for the English dub. Oh. Mind you. My knowledge of uh, English dub casts kind of peters out around the uh, third of the way through the 2010s. So, yeah. <clears throat> My Hero Academia, your next film's second teaser video introduces the Dark Might villain. And, yeah, it's like, Oh no, not power, not palette swap all might. Whatever shall we do? Like, guys, you're doing it all wrong. Dark might is supposed to have a goatee. That's how you. That's how you can tell he's evil. Have none of you watched Star Trek? A new character has been teased for G Gundam's for the G Gundam anime's 30th anniversary. Ooh, okay. And okay. Hopefully, we'll get something interesting from the 30th anniversary because 
like, okay, G Gundam is weird, mind you. And my god, a ton of racial stereotypes. But it's a really fun series. And when I say racial stereotypes, I mean, I believe uh, the Mexican Gundam was the Tequila Gundam, and it wears a sombrero. The Norway Gundam literally disguised itself as a wit- oh. Was it Gundam or Sweet? Okay, I think this- Uh, hold on. Okay, the Swedish Gundam was the Sailor Venus one, so I want to say it was Norway. No, Norway was the Viking. Okay, who was what? Who was the Windmill Gundam? The Netherlands. Okay, there we go. But yeah, G Gundam, G Gundam is a wacky, fun series. Seriously, check it out. Actually, I, I wonder. Does Gundam Info have Gundam or have G Gundam? Da, da, da. Da. Okay, movies, wing. Divers, Gundam Seed, which from Mercury. Okay, they don't have G Gundam yet. Mind you, they, they've they've slowly been they've slowly been uploading to their channel like little bits at a time. So hopefully, eventually they'll get around to it. Hey, maybe for the thirtieth anniversary, they'll all start uploading. Anyway. Disney Animation faces a two-year pushback. No original, no original content until 2026. Yeesh. Emma Stone and Mark Ruffalo don't think the world needs another Shrek movie, despite the fact that DreamWorks is currently making one. I mean, I kind of agree. Like, there's been like what five, six Shrek Shrek films at this point. Not not the count not even counting like the various spin-offs. Or yeah. I, I think it was just Puss in Boots that got the spin-offs, but you you get the idea. Ella Purnell, the voice of Chinx, says the Arcane Season 2 finale is devastating. Quote, I cried. It's devastating, and nobody will feel good after watching it. A live-action R-rated Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, the last run-in movie is in the works. Star Trek Lower Decks will end with Season 5 on Paramount+. Plus. The live-action Minecraft movie is wrapped filming. It'll be in theaters on April 4th, 2025. Anthony Mackie says he'll get revenge on Tom Holland's past comments about not having his own film. Quote, I'm going to make sure Marvel makes him come to the premiere. And then I'm going to sit next, to, uh, sit him next to me and I'm going to make it, and I'm going to watch, um, watch the movie. <laughs> A bunch of uh, Disney stuff over at CinemaCon, including stuff from Moana 2, Mufasa the Lion King, Captain America Brave New World, and Deadpool and Wolverine. I'm 
way they showed like the first 35 minutes of Inside Out 2 and 13 minutes of Kingdom of the Planet of the Apes. The Jim Henson documentary will release on May 31st on Disney Plus, directed by Ron Howard. Dave Bautista will voice the villain in the Avatar The Last Airbender movie. And Eric Nam has been cast as adult, adult Aang in the uh, movie. A Transformers and G.I. Joe crossover movie is officially happening. Okay, okay, we're getting there. Now, can we get an official Transformers My Little Pony crossover movie? But if we do that, uh, which generation do we use? Do we use like, the classic generation? No, wait, I, I, I believe they lost the name rights to those characters. So it'd have to be either like Gen 4 or Gen 5. Probably Gen 5 since that's what they're marketing these days. But, mo but a lot of the toy stuff is, or like, Maybe not toys, but like other st related, like merchandise materials have mostly stuck with Gen 4. I don't know. And then there's the question of the uh, other multi gens. Yeah. Do we have the classics? That are, do we have the classics that, of course, everyone remembers the Toei show? Or, yeah. Or is there going to be something new? Actually, okay. What other properties does uh, Hasbro own? Okay. Dungeons and Dragons. Yeah. Uh, here we go. Toys and games. Eh, probably not Beyblade. Also, that's a co-product, so... Eh. eh, Ghostbusters. I mean, they haven't made more Ghostbusters movies, so... Eh, maybe. Jurassic Park. Eh. Ooh, okay. They uh, they currently have they currently have Power Rangers. Again, though again, it is a co-product with Toei, so. Eh. Yeah. Right. Uh, oh yeah, Transformers One, which I think is supposed to be like a prequel film. Start that's like oh, before all all that fighting between Decepticons and Autobots really started happening. Okay. So, okay, good work. I think I have a good idea what mentor character will be in that. Yep. A scary movie reboot is in the works. Maybe? Like... I admittedly, the, uh... The parody films kind of got out of hand after a point. But, like, starting off, they were halfway decent for the time. So... Possibly it could work. I believe the last one I can think of. I believe the last one I can think of is uh, Scary Movie Five. I believe after that, I have a feeling there was some sort of resting period. So 
Yeah. Captain America will seemingly appear in X Men ninety seven. A Heroes sequel series is in the works. Titled Heroes Eclipse, the series is set years after where uh, new Evos are being awakened and discovering powers that will change their lives. Oh, it's a sequel series? I, when I first heard about it, about it, I thought they mentioned something about it being a reboot, but I mean, either way, uh, Heroes had so much potential back in the day, but then that writer's strike happened and sc ended up screwing up season two, and then they was, they struggled to regain their footsteps the season three onwards and it was just eh. <sighs> actually a bit of a question the more recent strikes or oh the uh what was it the the one that resulted in uh dr horrible yeah that one okay yeah, the season two of Heroes got cut short because of it, and uh, yeah, let's just say one of the main characters, girlfriends at the time, got stuck in a doomed future timeline that was never revisited. Yeah, that is a thing that happened. Honestly, I... I I want to say that a reboot would probably be better, just so they could start with a clean slate. <clears throat> and maybe, like, I don't know, set some limits of, like, okay, people are going to have powers, but we kind of need... But let's, uh, let's not try to go overboard this time around, like... This time, like, okay, eh, eh, we're not going to just have, like, one or several guys whose power is like, oh yeah, I'm gonna take that person's power and that person's power and that person. I know that's like, I mean, hell, that that's essentially Rogue's power from the X Men, but still, at least, at least with uh oh, with the, the with the debility, to, uh, with the debilitating side effects of the usage, he's less inclined to, you know go for that as an option. Eh, you never know. Could possibly end up like Samurai Jack. I do believe that was... one attempt at revival that actually worked. True. first trailer for the J Michael Jackson biopic was shot at CinemaCon. It'll include over 30 songs, and it'll be in theaters on April 18th, 2025. Keanu Reeves returns as John Wick in Ballerina. Yeah, apparently it was, it was delayed for significant set pieces to be added to the film, and it'll be set in between John Wick 3 and 4. I always find one of more interesting reasons for delays of even strike happened and uh demic. Yeah. A new Blair Witch movie's in the works at Bloom House. Uh, really do we need a new one? Like Let's face it, the first Blair Witch movie was like a once-in-a-lifetime thing, like, oh, wow, found footage movie. Like, so, oh, well done at the time, people thought it was real, and it's like, but then they started making more movies, and, like, the illusion was shattered, and it's like, I mean, yeah, horror films and all that, but still, with, I don't know... 
Play which always felt to me like, uh, like it was supposed to be like a one and done thing, you know? The boy season four is fully complete and ready for, le for re uh, blah, 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 ready for release. It premieres on June thirteenth on Prime Video. Jack Black says the Minecraft movie will be a new kind of blockbuster. Quote, don't panic, the comedy of the movie will be much better crafted than that. <laughs> uh. Ooh, William, De William Defoe's gonna be in Beetlejuice 2? Nice. Superman, the Christopher Reeve story, will be the first film under the DC Studios label. The documentary follows how Christopher Reeve found strength and purpose through activism after he was paralyzed in an equestrian accident in theaters this September. Crow remake has been delayed to August 23rd. Saw 11 has been delayed to September 26, 2025. Kit Harrington says the Jon Snow series is no longer happening. Quote, currently it's off the table because we can't, we all can't, uh, we all couldn't find the right story to tell. A new Bridget Jones movie will release on February 14th, 2025 on Peacock. Renee Zellweger will reprise her role and star alongside Hugh Grant, Emma Thompson, Shweta Ejiofor, and Leo Woodall. Fan has reanimated the Invincible Season 2 finale to replace Agent Spider with Spider-Man. I actually saw that one. Looks pretty good. Apparently the Sonic films will become Avengers like uh, Avengers level events. Big exciting stories that have a lot of different characters. Eh. Given all the buzz about the Knuckles uh, miniseries, I guess that makes sense. Yeah. Robert Downey Jr. would happily return to the MCU after winning his first Oscar. Quote, it's part of my DNA. Never, ever bet against Kevin Feige. It's a losing bet. He is the house. He will always win. <laughs> yeah. The Undertaker has returned to WWE and chokeslammed The Rock. Yeah, I saw clips of that too. It's like, seriously, the dude was supposed to be retired by this point. Given some things that went down with Johnson lately, I personally believe that was a bit deserved. Yeah.
Joseph Quinn jo uh, uh, Joseph Quinn jokes that he will be setting himself on fire every day to prepare for Fantastic Four. Okay, gonna move on to the other website for a bit. See if I can't find some stuff. Ooh. Oh wait, no, that's from February. Never mind. <sighs> Yes, someone said something new about that one, so like it shot back up on the. Uh, oh, this is a recent thing list. Um, Peacemaker season two has officially started its production. Things to look forward to at the uh, Keynes Festival. Uh, new Francis for Coppola film. New Nicolas Cage film. And the is always so I don't know what we should the screen together at once. <laughs> Apparently Varada Sethu will be joining the fifteenth Doctor and Ruby Sunday in season two of the new Doctor Who series. Start to film Central Canada. Carrie Ullman, one of the stars in the film called Perthy. Nope. To be more in the substance. So there's a new Goblin in the Spider-Man comics. Yeah, Amazing Spider-Man number fifty reveals the Spider Goblin. Yeah, Peter Parker's gone Goblin. Like hey, something, something. Apparently, he got it. He got blasted with the weight of the sins of Norman Osborn or something. Eh. Or basically it's a typical Tuesday for Peter Parker <laughs> at this point. Getting some characters from Avatar's Last Star Bender coming to Fortnite. Yep. Yeah, I, I saw some bits from that one, in including Toph trying to eat, um, trying the whole toss popcorn into mouth bit, and misses.
Fixer foils and verses, created by Perlo, successfully finished, and pilot turns. 81k, just needs to make at least 550k. Apparently, Fallout London has been delayed in order to integrate Fallout 4's next-gen changes. Yeah, apparently there was like an update that happened recently, and yeah, apparently the, the mod will be hosted on GOG due to the Nexus size limitations. This boxing featuring Hatsune Miku has been rated by the ESRB. Now the game has already came out elsewhere, but it wasn't previously confirmed for the US yet, so yeah. Because yeah, when you think fitness uh, when you think fitness boxing, clearly you think Hatsune Miku. To be fair, I, I think the other fitness boxing game I heard of was tied to Fist of the North Star, which, to be fair, makes a bit more sense in that regard. <laughs> One, the C for the comic was released this week. Mm -hmm. Pony for this year will be the Gen One Winter Cheek Cotton Candy. Mm hmm. My previous Renegade. Start of the season. Student 6 Scholarly Shenanigans. Home Stars has lost nearly 95% of its player base. To which I say, yeah, basically, it sounds about right. Like, it, they're essentially ripping off uh, Splatoon. And anyone who wants to play a Splatoon type game is going to be playing Splatoon. <laughs> <laughs> like, Hate to say it, but you can't really compete with Nintendo for fun party style games for the most part. <clears throat> on a similar note, somehow it's hard to capitalize on uh, Team Fortress success. Unless it's just Amazon being the uh, failing capitalists. Oh, got a bit of uh, potential insider info from a Atlas leaker. Info one, supposedly the Persona 6 color theme is green. And also, supposedly, Personas 1 and 2 are, are apparently going to be getting some remakes. Which, yeah, that's fair. Like, they were last seen on the PSP, so 
it's about time they got some attention. Maybe merge both of the Persona 2 games into one game? Because if you don't know, Persona 2 was split into two different games. Uh, I forgot what the first one is called, but the second one was Eternal Punishment. Oh, Forgotten Sin, or something like that, and Eternal Punishment. Say, so getting those together in one game would be nice. And we didn't even get both of those games in America. We got, like, one of the two Persona... Well, we got Persona 1, we got one of the Persona 2 games, but we didn't actually get the third one, like, the, the other Persona 2 game. Japan got it, but... It was never ported over for us. Thankfully, fans have translated it by this point, so there's that at least. First scene, square A, one, two, three for their anniversary year. Performance in top tens. Tell you the Spire 2 has been announced, releasing an early access on in uh, 2025. Yay! Because I really like Slay the Spire 1. Hopefully it has just as much modding support as uh, the first game does. April 27th, 28th. Can I get into Asian Association? Lord Slay is moved to what it orders springs start up. And they will be hosting a Steam School. August 31st, September 1st. Hosted by Matt Ringer Snake in Eatonville. Allocating our shows. In May and September. Another one in October. A 
Savelli overnight inches closer to reality. Selected by Seed Rapture to purchase Stork being a passenger train. Lots of four, Bridge and Sucker River eight to be restored to active service. Steam season. Spike into the grange, not taking part into the not taking part in uh upcoming seven valley gala. Uh, 1369 to take its place outside Finchurch Lampton 29. So that'll be designated a feature of campus here at the river and there through her team. Kansas special steam locomotive. Trust open house at Blair County Convention Center, and that's on May 11th. Team back this time. Hopefully, this will be uh, sorted out for another year. Extra real screen less to stop on for days at three. Festival transfer turn for show. We have a lot of Hall of Fame nominations open now. Anzac Day. Runs on the 25th. Shark Express. May 26th. Thank you. 
move. Fighting Capus. Toffin's Cult Spills. Urban Heal. PS News Hour. War Chant. Pretty difficult mile runner 2000. Trina Robbins. Wonder Woman. Ten Wall and Star Trek 9. Sir Paul Fox. PC. John Lewis. English Motorcycle Speedway Rider. Bruce Kessler, Blinkies, 58 Monaco Grand Prix. Rocket Finals 18, Mission Possible Chips. Pat Hannon, Finish Grand Prix 500 CC winner, 76. Tiger Berkson, Young Jones Chronicles, Hollywood Sign, Cold Wings Plenty, yes, seriously, uh, 1923, and the biggest one this week, Say Which Will. Simpson, from the lector turned crit. Right. Oh, I did actually uh, watch a thing today. I actually checked out the first episode of Kamen Rider Geats. I believe that was the writer series from last year. It's the Fox themed one. And yeah, it, it was interesting. Like, yeah, the main character doesn't even transform in the first episode. It's like, got all this world building. Like, 
yeah, it's a battle royale, and the winner gets to make some sort of change in the world, and yeah. And yeah, after observing the finale of the last game, the, the main character's like, oh, hey, congratulations, after some evaluation, you have been chosen. And that's how, that's how the first episode ends. It's like, okay. It's like, yeah, I'm kind of interested to see how, how it goes. Yeah, it's actually available to watch online, although part of me wants to get the Blu-ray set, just because, you know, uh, supporting the official release, but uh, I'll, I'll see how my budget is next month. but hopefully that will be eventually sorted out.
Oh yeah, apparently there's some sprinkling going on in the garage, and there's a few uh, possessions of sorts, a bit uh, possessions of sorts that uh, need my attention. Uh, I think I managed to get one of them out of the way. The uh, other should be taken care of uh, within a week or so. I also did a bit of uh, cooking earlier this week. Took some frozen chicken, glazed it a bit with some uh, some honey, sprinkled it with some uh, what was it? The Korean barbecue blend. Then wrapped it up in some foil, tossed it in the oven for like forty-five minutes. Came out just perfect. Yeah, paired it with some rice and vegetables. It was it was great. So yeah, now I know uh -oh, how to easily cook chicken in the oven. Serious about uh, meat lovers' pizzas. Have this week was chicken, so. Seven combined for another Friday.
si je vois un Black Lamp, si toi tu veux. Wait. I think the soap something is called you don't skip to conserving. Onto which stay safe, stay well, get a nice good list of prey, and hopefully we will see you next week. <laughs>